If you buy a new prop and it doesn't come with the bolt holes already drilled, you're gonna need a drill guide. So you can Google DLE 170 drill guide. And this is what you're gonna receive. So it's gonna come in a little package and it's gonna have the drill guide itself with a four millimeter bolt, Allen head for an Allen wrench. What's gonna happen is that's gonna go, this hole is gonna go in that prop and I'll show you that in just a second. And this bolt is gonna go in the other end and tighten down. And that's to make sure that the holes are in the correct pattern, that you did your drill bit doesn't get offset. I'm gonna use a drill press. Now with this bolt guide, you could use a handheld drill beveled edge and that's gonna fit down in the hole of your prop. Then you're gonna take that bolt and you're gonna run it down on the other side with the washers. So run it down finger tight so that you don't accidentally cross thread it. Not too tight, but tight enough to where it won't move around on you. There we go, because you don't want to compress the propeller too much. I put this on top of a two before or another piece of wood. It's because I'm going to be pressing down. I don't want to damage the prop. So I want it to be able to be flat and also don't want to press it into metal and scratch up the prop and damage it. Okay, so make sure that you're lined up, that everything fits in there. So it should be tight, pretty snug, but don't let it uh, change angle on you. So this prop, God is going to get kind of warm. <laughs> Make sure that you don't take this off until you've cleaned these out that you've tested it and run the bolt that's going to be used in it through because you want to get this right the first time. All right, so now I'm going to run this prop bolt through from the other prop. Make sure those are cleaned out good enough so I won't have any issues. You want it to be fairly snug. You saw how that was kind of sticking in. That one's cleaned out nice and good. And then I'm going to check it from the other Star side. up your prop. And just kind of clean those out just a little bit on this side. Not much. Because again, we don't want to go all the way down the hole because we don't have the prop guard on this side. And that might throw the angle of that hole off. There's a good chance that it would. So now what I want to do is run this bolt in the other way. Make sure it's nice and clean in there that I can get the bolt in and out. That one's pretty tight. Before I take that prop hub off. Now we've got the prop installed on the DLE 170. Again, do when you tighten this down, tighten the opposing bolts. So do like a star pattern and that'll help slowly cinch that back down. It's gonna be kind of tight if this is the first time that you put this prop on. And so take your time, make sure you don't cross thread those bolts.